Hey guys, what's up? Today I wanted to talk to you about the three steps that I use to correct any time I fail, right? To just get back on track. And this is reassess, realign, and retarget. And so the first step you're going to do, right, because we all make mistakes and we all fail at stuff, is you're going to reassess what went wrong. Not what happened to you, but what went wrong. And you're going to do it from the perspective of ownership and what could I have done to avoid that. So let's say, for example, I always use the example, you're late to work and you're late to work by five minutes and you're late to work because there was a traffic, right? So something that is not in your control. But if you had left for work 10 minutes earlier, then you wouldn't be late to work. So what could I do to fix this? Well, I could leave for work 10 minutes early and then, yeah, I might get to work a little bit early, but I know that I won't be late if there's traffic and that is taking control and that's reassessing what went wrong. So like, for example, in this property that I am dealing with right now that's not working out so hot, there were some things that I could have done better. I could have gotten more of our conversations in writing. We talked on the phone several times, and I should have followed those up with emails or just said, hey, look, I'm not going to agree to that on the phone. Let's do it in email traffic. Let's do it in writing. And they were things that were very simple and shouldn't have been a big deal, but I could have made them happen in writing, and they're not. And now it's kind of a he said, she said on some stuff. Now, luckily, all the big points were in writing, but you get what I'm saying. So reassess what you could have done better to avoid this and then you're going to realign so if you know that in order to make the next goal happen you need to tweak just a little bit to make it down the road you're going to refocus you're going to realign and you're going to go achieve that so if you know that in order to be five minutes early you need to leave 10 minutes earlier from your house leave 10 minutes earlier and write out a plan to avoid this in the future how can you mitigate this ever happening again and that's basically taking the data from you reassessing and just putting it into words so that you have a system of how to make sure it doesn't happen again and you're going to retarget just simply meaning go again so if buying this property or this offer didn't get accepted, we're going to reassess what you could have done on the offer to make it get accepted or make it better. You're going to realign to ensure that it still meets your goals and ensure you have a new path to make that happen. And you're going to retarget that property or that system in order to ensure that you are able to attack it. And these are the ways that I get past failure. So when something goes wrong, I try to look internally as objectively as possible and figure out what could I have done to avoid that. All right, how can I ensure that that doesn't happen again? Okay, now how can I refocus, retarget, and make that happen? And these are the three steps for avoiding failure. I definitely recommend that you check them out. Really just getting in your head that there's always something you could do to better a situation. A prime example of this is if your girlfriend or boyfriend dumps you and you're sad, that's great, that sucks. You know, you could say, well, they broke up with me, they did this to me. Like, no, no, no. Yeah, they broke up with you. Yeah, it sucks. But the reality is that you're the reason you're sad because you are allowing yourself to be emotional about that. And is it rough? Yes. And is it okay to be emotional? Yes. But you can't be mad at them that you're angry. It is you controlling that. So you could reassess. Why am I upset? Okay, well, I know why I'm upset. Okay, great. Now, how do I realign? All right, well, I need to focus on this, the going forward, what makes me happy, you know, some of the upside in my life and then I'm going to retarget and I'm going to hone in on that and I'm going to go after that. I'm going to stop worrying about this. I'm going to stop thinking about this. I'm going to stop letting this control my life. And that is how you can utilize this to kind of reframe your crappy situations to help yourself get over it.